Hi guys, so today we are going to be playing a little Dwarf Fortress. What we're going to do is, actually I'm going to create a new world. And as I'm creating it, we're just going to talk a little bit of strategy. It's basically going to be me talking to myself, but uh, you know, maybe you'll find it interesting. We'll see. I like to hear how other or how other people like to play the game as well. So um, maybe you'll like to hear what I think. That's why I like to watch Let's Plays, because you get to see what other people... Um, how they play the game, what they do, what their strategies are, how do they design their areas. I'm going to make a large world. Um, number of sites. Let's make that a little bit higher. Beast a little bit higher. Savagery a little bit higher. Mineral recurrence more frequent. Um, so we're going to try to make this world bigger, a little bit more robust, and, and see if we can... Let's add our history up. Eh, you know? Yeah, let's add it all up. We'll see where we go from there, and, and this can get us something good. So... While it's creating all this stuff, we can just talk a little bit about it. It's going to take a while. Um, so, for me, I haven't been playing Dwarf Fortress for very long, but uh, and I've watched a lot of Let's Plays, and they're kind of addicting to me now, and I, I just like to see how people, what strategies they use, and, and how they go about making their, making and designing their forts. Um, and I've only, I've had a ton of civilizations that I've either, um, let me turn down the sound sense a little bit, I've had a ton of civilizations that have failed within the first year or two, I haven't gotten more than maybe 25 dwarves or so before I've started to get um, just overwhelmed with the micromanagement that I felt I had to do. and. More recently, I've gotten up to a ton more dwarves, up to 100 plus dwarves, and it's been it's been kind of crazy. But at the same time, I, I feel I've gotten into a lot more aspects of the game that I'd never had even thought existed or even knew anything about in my other forts. So, um, and one of those main things is military, and I know a lot of people have problems with the military it's a little bit it's not very well documented when you first go into it and you open up the military menu and you have no clue what to do and I've spent some time just looking through it and it is really tough to even figure out what you should be doing um, but almost every time that I've had a fort that's lasted over a year or so I've been attacked by something or been had a goblin siege or, so, or something like that and uh, I've always been like, oh well, you know, I guess I have to appoint my military now. I've never been one. I've never been one to start my military up, get it running uh, alongside of everything else in my fort. I've, it's always been in the back of my mind that it's something I have to do, and I, I never really even wanted to try to do it because I always thought it was going to be too much of a hassle. Um, so one of these newer ideas I have is if you just come in with your seven doors. I know some other people have done it. Uh, the, the mainly I've seen it come in when they're uh, reclaiming their lost site. They'll come in with a bunch of dwarves and try to drive everyone out, drive the intruders out and try to reclaim it. But I'm wondering if you can do that just off the bat. You have you start with your miner and have a couple of all the other people who are basically military people. So you come into your um, fortress just dig out a small area, enough for just the basics. And the basics I mean like make some beds for barracks. Um, you know, a mason's workshop so you can make some other little things, some doors and, and stuff like that. Set up a little bit of a farm and basically use your seven dwarves or your five dwarves if, if you pick some other things to do some other professions. Have them be your military, start them up, get them uh, into their spots, have them start training and be prepared to take on any sort of intrusion you're going to have and then wait for those other... Um, Wait for your other migrants to come in and use them as your, you know, dwarves to start your industries up and, and things like that. Um, so that's something that I've thought about. I might try that. And it's it's also another design strategy of just being very minimalistic with everything. My other, I've, I've had a ton of other forts where I've just dug out huge hallways and huge rooms and, and this and that. And I've made it look nice and... Um, 
it's always seemed to to take up too much of my time or it's or it's I've had other things pop up and I'm, I'm not ready for it and then I forget about my other projects and it maybe just being minimalistic and doing just the bare minimum to get things functional and that's it is maybe a better approach and I don't know we'll have to see um some other basically aesthetic sort of uh designs i've been thinking about is i i usually I, i'm one of those guys who just does straight uh symmetrical rectangular square geometric shape well, not really geometric shape square things square rooms square hallways things like that and i've noticed some people do some sort of circular round edged things and it looks really nice and i've been thinking about maybe trying that in one of my forts and and seeing how that goes out again that's one of those things where you know you're doing a little bit more sometimes to to set things up and make them look nice but maybe that's something that i want to try to do um what else also i thought about and this is more this is again planning ahead and really having a whole idea before i even get into my fort of what i want to do is sort of set up and I haven't thought about it a, a, a whole lot, but set up, I, I guess you call them burrows, sort of. Not burrows as they are in the game, but uh, a whole area for my masonry industry, a whole area for my crafting industry, a whole area for my metal metalwork industry. Um, and have them, these separate areas, be separated maybe they all come back into a central area that's maybe your farm things that the dwarves are always going to need farm um stuff like that but have them all separated that way you know exactly what what part of your industry is working what's not working what needs something to do and then sort of assign doors to these areas so you know that you know my metal each one of my uh areas has 10 doors the three of them are always crafting uh three of them are always hauling and then you know uh, just make sure that each area has its own dwarves designated for their own jobs they stay in that area basically so that way you don't have and then you can have three that are that come and they and they get materials they get your wood to bring back to your wood area they get the bones and they bring them back to your area that way you minimize the, the travel, which is always a big thing people people talk about, is minimizing the travel time between either stockpiles or your workshops and things like that. And, uh, and it's just something that I thought of I mean, after watching. I'm sure none of these ideas are, are unique. After watching people's Let's Plays and, and how they set things up and, and really my experience with Dwarf Fortress where I've gotten just overwhelmed too big of areas starting projects that are just way out of way out of my league um and i think that's probably one of the reasons that all my bigger fortresses have have failed is that i've taken on too much to do besides sustaining my area and and sometimes you do have time to do other projects but i think i i hopped on them way too fast and and got involved too much um, too early um, so yeah some design strategies things like that um, let's see we still have a bunch of time left for uh, my world generation so I think I'm gonna cut it here it was about a 10 minute little diatribe but uh, maybe someone will find it interesting to hear and then uh, we're gonna go on I'm gonna find a site uh, we're going to get started. I'm probably going to skip showing you guys finding a site. I'm going to find a good site. We're going to get started, and then uh, we'll go from there. So we'll see how it goes. I'll see you guys later.